previously on Life is Strange. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. What the hell is this? Let's hope this episode is a lot less depressing than the last. And let's hope that I make better choices this time. girl. Chloe. Meet her in front of the Chloe campus. Would be all over this. So I better get moving. Hey, did we feed... I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Yep, we don't want a dead bunny. Floor lamp. Switch on. There we go. Right. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. This is such a moving piece of cut and paste black robe bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. <laughs> too little, too late. Okay, let's read what it says. Dear Max Caulfield, as you're no doubt aware, Blackwell Academy lost a valued and beloved student this week with the tragic death of Kate Marsh. Everyone who encountered Kate from faculty to student body, remember her as a kind, intelligent, and intel talented person with a bright future. The staff of Blackwell Academy understands the social and academic trauma that comes from a public incident such as this, and we believe it's vital that we hear directly from the students about their thoughts and concerns. We encourage you to call our 24-hour hotline to speak with a professional counselor no matter what your question or situation might be. In other words, Blackwell Academy has your back. Principal Wells, right. So much for that when I tried warning you earlier about a guy, uh, what's his name again? Uh, I think it was Nathan Prescott, who had a gun in the bathroom and you didn't believe me? This is the kind of crap that kids have to deal with every single yes, day. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Yeah, that's Kate's what friends. exactly what I was thinking previously. She has a cute Facebook page, by the way. In our heart forever. Let's see if there's anything from Victoria. Nope. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Time is bunk. Epic fall. Maybe you shouldn't have helped Kate. Wow. When we lose a game, nobody dies. Just saying, yo. Burn Serpent. Revelation 2010 and the de devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of the fire. Hope you at least got a selfie out of this. You're the only one who really cared, Max. Ouch. Hey, I'd like to interview you when it's convenient. PM me. That chick splattered OS. You dropped her like egg. Wow, this is ridiculous. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Yeah. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Let's look outside the window. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. 
and all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Hmm. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Yeah, I would have brought all of this stuff to that meeting. Whatever. What's this timetable? Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Oh, man. Why did she cross off English AP? Hmm. Let's leave her room. Holy cow, it's so dark. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Huh. This is... Oh. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. This is starting to look like a horror game, which I really hope is not the case because I hate horror games. Ooh. Dana. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. We're all responsible. She was depressed. Blame Victoria. Mm, I'm gonna blame Victoria. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. Like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. No, no kidding. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hmm. It wants me to rewind. Okay, let's see what happens if I choose different choices. Let's speak to her. Hey, Dana. I just can't stop. Ah, oh, let's say we're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Let's say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, dip. So what exactly you think that Let's say I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now... Not me. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I skip... I mean, erase what I said earlier. Okay, let's speak again. Hey, Dana. I just can't... Oh, I don't think she was depressed. I'm not gonna pick this. I'm gonna say that we're all responsible. Well, actually, I kinda wanna blame Victoria, so let's just blame Victoria. Come on. Do she de Doesn't matter now. Tell that to Vic... Dana. So what ex... You think? I'd say it's complicated. It's complicated. I'm getting... All what? right. Victoria... Not me. All 
All right, let's get out of here and see what's going on. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Didn't know that's what it said. Paper ball? This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, I think I've already seen that one. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Hmm. Okay, but which one is her room? Because I don't remember. It's not this one. It's not this one either. What is that? How strange. Those are the showers. Okay. Oh, let's go to Victoria's room. Enter. Let's snoop around. Since I've crossed the line from snoop to detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Let's do it. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Let's search and her back. The point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Ugh. Nothing important there. There's a poster. I don't see anything in the bed. Let's take a look at the sticker. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Let's look in the trash can first. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Holy cow. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Glow in the dark? Oh yeah, let's use her laptop. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Need fresh air, Taylor Christensen from Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea, what up? I'm just avoiding some lame A science homework. How can anyone do homework after seeing somebody jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or crying. I feel like total S for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. V. I'm sorry too, Victoria. I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need to drink stat. Let me know the time. Whatever. This is like a thread for sociopaths. End Max of the world. Crackfield? Lame. Nathan Party Prescott. Dudes. From Nathan to Victoria, that Twimo B. Max Cockfield got me effing suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the effing dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their S and are threatening me with the effing job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go effing down. And the end of the world party is on. You win? From Victoria to Nathan. WTF, are you kidding me? That is bull S. No way can Black will suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ki A kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble, and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell, no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. Oh my gosh. Yes, I just had to go there. I had to talk like a cheerleader. Ooh, let's take a look in the drawer. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Yeah, <laughs> how disgusting. There's her glow-in-the-dark character from anime. <sighs> okay, so let's see if there's anything else that's of interest. Let's take a look at this desk. Ooh, there's a USB I'll joint. title this one. Portrait de la assholes. <laughs> Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Hmm. 
drawer open. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Nothing of interest here. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so... Those boots are made for walking runways. I don't see anything to snoop around in. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to head out since there's nothing to see. Okay, well, let's head on out. I wonder how come there's no lights? Maybe the power went out? So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Hmm, I wonder what happens if we sit here. What the hell am I doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. All right, let's get going, shall we? Broken lamp. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. There's a totem pool. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. I see someone over there. I wonder if Crystal that- Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Huh. What are we gonna do if he sees her? Hmm. Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. Oh my gosh. Let's see what this was about from Chloe. Max? Okay, we need to get out of here. So, ooh, some from Warren. Just checking to see how you are. I know today was hard. Um, wow, private number. What? Oh my gosh, oh, I bet this is from Nathan Prescott. All right, I see a power switch. Maybe there's a way to turn off the power? Huh. So I'm going to rewind then. Let's run. Max the Ninja strikes again. It's not exactly safe to be out at night. Especially with everything weird going on and people missing, it's not exactly something that I would say that I would do. Okay, at the front. Of Booyah! The... Oh, get it? Booyah! Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Too soon. You're like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... 
act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos Theory. Don't joke. I hope so. Didn't you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? What should we do? About Kate or Rachel? Let's go with Kate. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Hmm. Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it alive? Dead? Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. What the frick? Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, Take a picture! How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? What? Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. I we knew it! We would spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm and illegal. Think you, say any of that. you might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? What? That a guy would reject you? So implausible. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. <laughs> Let's go find out. I had a feeling that they had a relationship or some sort of weird Chloe relationship. Schumaster. You know it. Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. 
We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. Actually, that is breaking go to jail. and entering. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. <laughs> Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. All right. The only way is... The only way up is down. Down this rabbit hatch. Let's see what the frick is going on over here. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. <laughs> I might as well test out my thief skill. Hope your lock picking is it. at 100. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. This is still breaking and entering, just FYI. All right, so let's see what's in here. Maybe it's in the hat? I doubt it. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Key rack? I doubt Where it. Where are the keys? None for the principal's office. I know, it's on the principal himself. What do you know? I doubt it'd be here. Highly doubt it. <sighs> no keys here. Hmm. I don't see anything here. Oh, let's search in this box. Nothing to see here. Nope, not at all. Let's search in this drawer. Desolation. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, we didn't look in the box. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Hmm. Is it up here? No. Let's look in these drawers. It couldn't be that easy. Crap. Boring. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren. You busy? Oh my gosh. Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Sugar, a soda can, I'm duct tape, put it sodium. What? Can you stay here and not get caught. Yeah, I wait. Get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. That's gonna leave the like trace. On. See you soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Let's take a look at the text. Here's how you do it. What? It's gonna explode. All right, so we need sugar. Uh, sugar and whatever that green thing is. Sodium chloride, chlor di oh, chlorine dioxide, okay? With match, with a matchstick and tape. Then we put the tape around the match. We turn it on and boom. All right. So those are our instructions. We just have to find the stuff. So let's see if we can find some of the stuff here. We've got sugar. So let's take that. Ooh, sugar. We're going to need duct tape. 
Um, Only three more items to go. Let's see if we can find duct tape in any of these. No, I doubt it. Let's take a look in the box one more time. No, I don't think it's in the box. Uh, where's that option? Book? Squirrels like nuts. Nope. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. I don't think it's in here, so we're gonna have to walk out. Okay. Letter. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Michelle Grant from David Madsen to Michelle Grant. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Whatever, exactly what she said. Okay, Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna need is duct tape and well, let's look in the trash can and the lighter. Nothing in it. Poster, bathroom. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Nothing here. Maybe in this trash can? Just emptied. Nothing here. Okay. Vending machine? Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Okay, we've got ourselves a can. You're halfway home, Max. I thought it was a lighter. Maybe I misread it. Let's see what Warren's gonna say. Did you blow up, Max? Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna have to go to the science room um, to find a, um, to find the sodium dioxide. But we still need. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Kate's locker. Oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. Isn't this the art room? At least I think it is. Or maybe it's the science room. This is like a scene in a horror film. Yeah, this is the art room. Huh. Ooh, contest pictures. Let's take a look. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Max the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Hmm. Let's take a look inside here. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Well, that's one way to be honest. Okay, so... Cigarette pack? Huh. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Come on, there's gotta be something around here. Ooh, duct tape. Just what I needed for my little bomb. Okay, let's walk around. The tape is mine. Okay, so now all we need is the sodium Only dioxide. More left. And that is going to be in the science room. But let's keep snooping around. There's nothing here. Okay. So let's get out of here. This is really dark. Kind of creepy, if you ask me. Okay. There's a can here, missing person poster, Kate's locker, so we came in that direction. Uh, wait, 
wait a minute, did I come from here? I can't remember. Oh, we did. Okay, so let's head back out. Okay, let's see if there's a way to access here. Okay, this must be the science room. Chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Hmm. Okay, so the question is how do we reach up there? I think I'm gonna need to get a chair. Okay. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Now let's turn the thing back off. Please resume your slumber. Okay, so this is the front. Ooh. I wonder if there's a way to get up there. Exam file. Ooh, this is not good. I don't want to cheat. Let's see what this is. Ass biology. Ugh, oh, gross. Okay, that's not I probably helpful. should find those items now. Let's take a look at this. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. <laughs> Change grade? No, I'm not gonna do that. That's, there's, there's no point to doing that. And let's just say I don't wanna get in trouble, so. Chemistry stuff. No, this mixture doth not work. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Okay, we found the weed killer earlier, but the question is how do we reach it? Oh. So there's the weed killer. Wait. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Good thinking. Ooh. Got it. Looks like now it's got... time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. <sighs> All right. So not only are we breaking in entry, but we're creating fire. Someone's gonna get in trouble for arson. All right, so let's get going. All right, where was the principal's office? If I remember, it was, I think it's over here. There we are. Pipe Take it bomb. easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is a bad idea. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. And now we've left evidence of breaking and entering. Oh, we're toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? How about we get the stuff that we came in for? Wait, where is the principal's office? There it is. Is there anything in here that we can get? No? How about we get out of here? What? There's only one way around this. Oh. 
Okay. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fucking door. <laughs> Welcome to my domain. She just teleported. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. She's gonna leave tracks on the table. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay, so... Let's take a look at this lamp and turn it on. Oop, we got a friend who is texting us. Oh, please, I just want to see if you knew your explosive, and to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> So far, it's taken two hours. Okay, so let's search over here. I certainly can't use this. Okay, let's look at Kate's file. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. Update, at present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Um, okay, Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBAY7 News and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Um, let's see, we have, a, we have a letter from the nurse that says that she had experienced some emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Yeah, well, this note was given to you, but you did nothing about it. Only two more files to go. Okay, so let's see what's... Books? Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. What's with this? What is this? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Okay, files, and nothing here. Hmm, let's take a look at the cabinet. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Trouble? But there's not much here about the police investigation. Principal Wells, this is, I'm reading the very bottom note, see attached. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on her end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Brief summary, GPA 4.0. She's a really good student, apparently. Um, she's a quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. She has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty. Hmm. Okay. 
We have her address. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Okay. Let's Always take wanted to. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 3.7 GPA. It has nothing about him in the Vortex Club. Wow. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. Okay, so let's look at her brief summary. She is quite attentive, um, potential, her GPA fluctuates, her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some, uh, some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Okay. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Wow. She's a gold standard for Blackwell Academy. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. Yeah, more like she's a big troublemaker. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. He's an exemplary student with a 4.0 GPA. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but that is not confirmed by a science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses academic vision and continues towards his bright future. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Okay, earlier I think I accidentally missed one file, so let's see if Man, I am. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Oh, we, we missed out on Chloe's. Let's see, Chloe Price is a problematic student. Wow, 1.7 GPA. Despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically, Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to, fel to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police report. Wow. That sucks. Let's take a look at this. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. From Sean Prescott to Raymond Wells, Dear Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course you would, you would do that. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conduct conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. These are the type of parents that create entitled, no-good kids the type of kids that get spoiled and can get away with anything and if you've ever followed the news um, as of 2016 with the kid from from Stanford who was a swimmer um, and he raped um, a girl and was only sentenced to I think it was three months or six months prison time um, and his parents were oh so sympathetic for their kids for their for their son this is basically the same type of parent, if you ask me. All right, let's speak with Chloe. Enough Max, about that. You better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. 
It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Oh, that's so over creepy. And over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. A uh, bad idea. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! It's money. Wow, That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. No, don't this do it! This not after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yes. Or just rewind and take I the I could go to prison. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money. I don't want to be in more trouble. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. Turn off the light! Turn off the light! Good job. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Okay, let's blow this joint. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? Really? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. A very bad one indeed. Okay, so we're gonna stop here, and we'll pick up in the next video of Life is Strange.